Oh, oh, it works. Excellent. Well, anyway, um, you're tuning in because you want to see my bedroom, or you're just on YouTube because you have nothing else to do. So today, I will show you my bedroom, where all the music happens. Yes. So anyway, we start out the laundry room. This room sucks, so we're going to move on. All right, then. So, this is my door. An Austin Powers poster for some reason, but it only defends people away from entering my room. I like to be alone. Yay! <laughs> this is my room from afar. That's the big sections of my room. Drum set, my keyboard section. So I'll just go around and show you everything here. It's pretty, pretty neato. It's my stuffed animals because I'm just so metal. And, uh, Oh, it's a bass clarinet. I'll pick it up and play it. There. I like to play instruments. It's fun. I don't know if I'm in this shot. I'll get down lower. <laughs> Next, I guess we'll, uh, oh, my hand. We'll go over to these drums. This is my drum set. We'll just go over it quickly. It's just a bunch of stuff put together, different drum brands and things. So it's uh, a couple of roto toms, two regular toms, and uh, like my bass drum on the floor there, and my little snare drum. It makes snare sounds like a regular one. And my china, my 12 inch splash, my 10 inch splash, my 16 inch very old crash. My 8 inch splash, some thing I put together, and my 10 inch china splash, and my old ride cymbal. I don't know the sizes. And there's another camera, and a fire bell, and a drill for fun effects. The camera does not make sounds. Anyway, so I'll show you what I'm doing here. It's uh, pretty neat. I uh, don't know if you can see that, I hope. Anyway, what I like to do is, uh, I like to work on, uh, multi-instrumental things for fun. So, just for easier for when I play on stage and things. So this is something I'm working on, I just worked on today. And it's, uh, my little glockish steel here. And play the drums. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, let's start that again. that screwed up a bit at first, but that's how it happens sometimes. Alright, my next one is pretty neat. This is my tenor bugle. It's a big marching horn. They have in the States, but I have it in my bedroom here in Canada. So, here's the thing I do live. It's pretty damn easy and fun. It just looks really awesome. <laughs> Well, that's that. And this is my drum set. I'll just fiddle around for a second. I haven't played in a while, so it comes out uh, decently well. Yeah, it's coming out pretty ballsy, so... Uh... Pretty 
balls you're playing with me today, I think. So, I don't play them too often. So, we'll go over my keyboard section now. This is where I come, usually live and uh, play things. Oh, my glockenspiel. I must get that. It's regular places over there. Uh, Okie dokie. Let me just open this here. I apologize for the nice view of the bass pedals and R30. Yes, Rush totally rocks. Anyway, so, this is my keyboard section. My two organs. I'll introduce you to those. This is my Hammond organ. It's pretty cool. It's not on. Mm, enjoy, isn't it? And, uh, this is a, this is a piano. It's one of those newer inventions they just made in the past, uh, 20 years. You know, didn't have pianos before. Uh, P.S. that's a synthesizer. So anyway, here's some piano. I just, uh, sounds if anyone hasn't heard one before it's a uh, one of those pretty rare instruments for people to have all right so anyway next I guess I'll show you these organs because they're pretty cool so this one over here I already showed you the Hammond this one over here is uh, my personal favorite it has the uh, Leslie speaker in it I'll turn that on for you yep it's that mainly anyway so uh, Play a little something on the organ. Just uh, something neat. So that's a little uh. Grooving. This is my clarinet and flute. This is my Dream Theater signed clarinet, I might add. This is Mike Portnoy. He wrote Blow Me. I'm the musing fellow. This is uh, some music I'm writing. It's pretty fun. Yep. Anyway. Oh, and this. This is a harmonium. It's uh, pretty, pretty cool, I must add. I found it in the garbage. So it uh, made a made home here pretty quickly, considering it is the mid-twenties harmonium. You just blow, and it makes a sound. Yeah, that's uh, about that. This is my little synthesizer. It uh, makes cool sounds too. Yeah, I probably should have set this up better. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Probably should have set that up better. I was just kind of rushed into this. So, there's my other instruments here. I got a bass. There's another bass. That one's not mine. And a guitar. And a classical guitar. And that's a trombone. And a French horn. I like instruments. Haven't you noticed? So we'll just do a shot of my room here again. The Ola He. So. That's a door. That's a hat. That's a television. This is my computer where I do all my work and write all my music. There's a small soundboard for recording. Works out well. That's Spock. This isn't just that cool. And, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, pretty much all there. This is what I live in, and it's pretty cool. So, I hope you enjoyed. I did this, uh, 
This was inspired by Dharma Callis because he wanted to do his drum set tour, and I just wanted to do my bedroom tour. It's pretty cool, so uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, pretty ballsy drumming today, I have to add, so it wasn't so great, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. This is what I live in, and uh, I'm Bruce. That's how it goes. Anyway, that's my uh, that's my bedroom tour. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>